Today I'm going to rank every Fortnite Battle Pass skin that we have ever gotten. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop and let's get to ranking. All right, so we're starting with the Aerial Assault Trooper. Uh, yeah, he's going D. I know there's nostalgia with that because it was Chapter 1, Season 1, but it's a very basic skin. But Renegade Raider is going A. Royal Knight will be going C. This is from Chapter 1, Season 2. The Knight skins are all right. They're, they're not that cool. Blue Squire is going to be going D. Sparkle Specialist is going to be going A. And Black Knight, still one of the best Tier 100 skins to this day, is going S. Elite Agent from Chapter 1, Season 3 is going to be going A. Rust Lord will be going B. We ended up getting a cooler version of Rust Lord later on, so that's why he's going to be in B. Moonwalker is going to go in C. There were quite a few astronaut skins from that battle pass. Mission Specialist is going to be going D. And then Dark Voyager is going to be going B. I wasn't the biggest fan of the astronaut skins, but I respect that they're OG, you know what I mean? The Reaper is going in S. I can still remember how scared I would be on the map whenever I saw someone rocking this skin. Squad Leader. Squad Leader is a very basic skin. It's going D. Zoe will be going C. Technique is going to be going B because we got a better Technique version later on in the chapter. Battlehawk will also be going D, just very generic soldier type skin. Valor will be going C. Carbide will be going S. I think this was the best tier 1 skin up to that point. And then Omega in my opinion up to that point was the best tier 100 skin and our first s plus skin up next is the visitor and this is the first skin that we got from the seven and really helped kick off this storyline going in b for respect now chapter one season five battle pass is coming up and i still think this is one of the best battle passes red line is going in a huntress is going in b I love the Viking theme. The Viking ship on the mountain is still one of my like favorite locations that was a non-name POI. Sunstrider, Sunstrider will be going C. The life card, just very basic. Rook, Rook will be going B. I liked the secret agent skin that they had going on, but we've, we've had better ones since then. Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer is going D. Again, just another generic army skin. Drift. Drift is going S+. Plus. Drift, to this day, in my opinion, is still one of the best Battle Pass skins of all time. And the level up versions at the time was so freaking cool. Ragnarok was also a really cool skin going in S, a sick tier 100 skin. And the secret skin of that season is our first F tier skin, Enforcer. Just did not care about it at all. Up next is the Chapter 1 Season 6 Battle Pass skins. Starting off with Dusk. Dusk is going into A little biased because i love vampires and i also just thought this skin was really sick at the time fable will also be going a nightshade will be going d dj yonder is going c giddy up will be going c as well just because the skin was really funny walking around with a balloon llama dire dire was an incredible tier 100 skin going s and calamity was an awesome tier 1 skin the leveled up versions are so good also going s aim another secret skin i know it kind of had to do with the storyline but also was just trash going f up next we got onesie from the chapter 1 season 7 battle pass and chapter 1 season 7 is my all-time favorite season and if you want to see my season ranking video the link is going to be in the description onesie onesie is going c i was a hundred percent going to put trog in c but one of my best friends rocks trog i got i gotta put him in b i gotta put him in b at least for him sergeant winter daddy claws going b for sure i love that they still involve him with every winter season powder i really like this snowboard skin i think she was really cool she's also going in b then up next is my all-time favorite battle pass skin lynx lynx will be going at the top of s plus she has been my favorite battle pass skin and my favorite skin in general ever since she came out i grinded so hard to get all of the lynx styles the red lynx suit is still my favorite and then also zenith zenith will be going a zenith was a really sick skin that came out that season and ice king one of the best tier 100 skins definitely going s prisoner who was the secret skin of that season and he played a big part in the storyline, which was really cool to see. And because of that, I'm going to be putting Prisoner in B. Chapter 1, Season 8. This battle pass was actually free when it came out. Starting with Sidewinder. Sidewinder will be going B. Kind of gives that female Indiana Jones vibe. One of the goats. One of the goats. Peely can't go anywhere else but S+. Master Key. Master Key was a sick skin when he came out. I love the gold tiger mask. Going in B. Ember. Ember is a fantastic skin. Looks really cool going in A. Same with Hybrid. The evolution of Hybrid. All the different styles was really sick. 
and Blackheart. Blackheart also going in A. Chapter 1 Season 8 was actually a very underrated battle pass in my opinion. In Chapter 1 Season 8, we got our first Tier 100 female skin, Lux. She's going to be going in S. I think the new version that just came out here in Chapter 5 Season 1 of her is better, but I still really like this skin and I wore her a lot once I got her. Now, the secret skin of that season was Ruin and Ruin was trash. She's going F. A lot of the secret skins were just not that good in chapter one up next is the chapter one season nine battle pass skins and i actually really like these skins i also really like the futuristic theme of that season so starting off with vega she's going to be going in b demi demi is for sure going in a stratus stratus is going to be going in b as well he had a lot of cool styles bunker jonesy was honestly pretty hilarious skin but i think we've had better jonesy skins so i'm going to be putting in c up next is sentinel also known as Robot Chicken at the time, is going in D. Vendetta. Vendetta was a cool tier 100 skin. You'd be going in A. And Rox. I thought Rox was probably the best skin in that battle pass, going in A. And then I think our best secret skin up to that point was our Chapter 1 Season 9 Singularity, who also had a big part to play in the storyline. She is going in S. Up next, we got the Chapter 1 Season X Battle Pass skins, and I think this is the best Battle Pass, if not at least one of the best, like in the top three. Starting off with Tilted Technique, Tilted Technique is definitely going in A. Sparkle Supreme is also going in A. Yonder, not just DJ Yonder, just Yonder is going in B, you got a really big upgrade. X-Lord, I think X-Lord is an incredible battle pass skin. I got him in S+. Eternal Voyager was also a huge upgrade when it came to the astronaut skins going in B. Catalyst, one of my all-time favorite battle pass skins going in S+. They really cooked when it came to Drift and Catalyst. Ultimate Knight, I wasn't the biggest fan of this tier 100 skin. I think Black Knight was way better, but Ultimate Knight will be going in B. And then the Scientist, we were introduced to another one of the members of the seven going in B. Up next is the skins from the chapter two season one battle pass. And this is honestly kind of hard to rank because if you remember, they almost had like alter egos. So they had, for example, here we have Turk and then there was also Riptide. So I'm gonna kind of just do a combination Turk and Riptide, I think are going in D. Riptide was a little cooler, but Turk honestly brings it down. Journey and Hazard, they're going in B. Medic and Toxin, I think was actually, especially Toxin, I think Tex Toxin was a really cool skin, going in A. Eight Ball and Scratch, also going in A. I think those two skins really carried the battle pass because I personally don't really care for this battle pass that much. Cameo and Sheik is going in B. Ripley and Sludge, they're going in C. The only reason I didn't put them in D is because he just, he looks so happy. He looks so nice. Fusion, Fusion, I feel like was one of the worst tier 100 skins. Fusion will be going in C. And then up next is Serana. Serana was the secret skin of that season going in B. Next we go to chapter two, season two, which is one of the most popular battle passes, popular seasons of all time. So let's go ahead and rank these skins. TNT Tina is going A. I really enjoy that skin. Sky is going B. Brutus. I'm sorry, Brutus. You're tough, but you're going D. Meowsles. Meowsles will be going C. That might upset some people. Agent Peely, the goat, but in a tuxedo. S plus. Gear Specialist Maya. Now she looks very basic, but if you can remember, she was the first customizable battle pass skin. So we were able to pick her tattoos, her hair, her outfit. Because of that, she is going A. Midas, one of the best tier 100 skins, one of the best villains of all time in Fortnite, going S+. Deadpool, also going S+. There was three S pluses, in my opinion, from that battle pass. Up next, we got the Chapter 2 Season 3 Battle Pass skins, and I think this is actually an underrated season. Starting with Siona, she's going in B. Jules, Jules is going in S+. Ocean, Ocean will be going in A. I actually really enjoyed that skin. Scuba Jonesy, Scuba Jonesy will be going in C. And Kit is going in B. The Meow Meow is just way too adorable. Eternal Knight, I think Eternal Knight was so sick, going A. Fade, I think Fade had a couple really cool styles, going B. Aquaman F. Next is the Marvel season, chapter two, season four, and they really cooked with this battle pass. Storm. Storm is 100% going A. Groot. Groot is going B. Jennifer Walters is going A. The transformation they did from Jennifer Walters to She-Hulk was absolutely incredible. Mystique. Mystique is 100% going S. One of the most unique battle pass skins that we've ever had. Thor. Thor is going B. Doctor Doom is going A. Tony Stark, 
definitely going s plus and up next is wolverine wolverine is going a they just killed it with the comic accuracy when it came to this skin all right moving on to chapter two season five battle pass skins and we're starting with man cake man cake is going in c the first anime skin in a battle pass is lexa and for that i'm going to be putting her in b reese was all right she had a really cool silver armor version but just not enough to put her in B. She's going in C. Condor. I thought Condor was a really sick skin. He's going in A. Maeve was also one of the most unique skins that we've ever had. She's going in A. Up next, we got Menace. Menace is going B because I feel like if I put him any lower, he would beat my ass. And it was a really cool tier 100 skin. Up next is the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian has to go S. Our first Star Wars collab skin in the Battle Pass also was just a very sick skin. Predator also going S. They killed it with these two collabs in the Battle Pass. Up next is Chapter 2 Season 6, my least favorite season of all time, but the Battle Pass was pretty good. Starting with Tirana. Tirana is going in A. She was one of the skins that I wore the most from this Battle Pass. Then next we have Cluck. Cluck is going in C. Agent Jonesy is going to be going in B. Spire Assassin. Spire Assassin was sick. Spire Assassin is going S. Up next we have Roz. Roz is going in B. Raven. I feel like they could have done a little better when it came to the comic accuracy, but it was still a really cool skin. She's going A. And then Lara Croft. Lara Croft. This was a great collab skin going in s and up next is neymar another collab skin and i'm sorry i know he's incredible at soccer but he's going d up next is the chapter 2 season 7 battle pass this was the alien theme season and there's going to be some skins going in f starting with zig zig is definitely going in f along with gugimon i jujimon i i don't know how to pronounce but going in F. Sunny. Sunny was solid. She's going in B. She's just an alien believer. Dr. Sloan. Sloan has had cooler styles since this battle pass. So this one's going in B. Rick Sanchez. I honestly didn't care for this collab at all. Going in D. Joey. Just a tatted guy with an eye patch, you think? But I'm actually putting this skin at C because it can transform into an alien skin. Like basically, she unzips and reveals her alien form which I think is very creative. Up next is Chimera, and I have Chimera in D. Pretty obvious I wasn't a big fan of the whole alien theme. Speaking of aliens, we got Clark Kent, Superman, going in C. I'm not the biggest Superman fan, I'm not gonna lie here. I mean, it's still a respectable collab for sure. It's the biggest superhero of all time, but just not for me. Up next is the Chapter 2 Season 8 Battle Pass skins, and this season rounded out Chapter 2 for us. There are some really good skins in this Battle Pass, and there are some really bad ones. Starting with one of the really good ones, one of my favorites in the Battle Passes, we have Charlotte. I love her other version that she upgrades to, and then joining her in S is going to be Core. I really like this skin. Definitely an upgraded secret agent skin that we got back from chapter one, season five. I love her eye. I love her outfits. This skin just, they cooked with this skin. Up next is Tuna Fish, and I think it's actually hilarious. I really like this skin. I like the cartoon, kind of the old Mickey Mouse vibe, so I'm going in B. I just want to be clear, just because I put the skin in B does not mean it's bad or anything. It's, it's solid. It's a solid skin. JB Chapansky, definitely going in F. Fabio, Almost went in F, but a little creative, so going in D. Torin, I think Torin was a really good tier 100 skin. I like her alternate styles. Going in A. Uh, Carnage, Carnage I don't care for too much. Going in C. Cube Queen, because she had a big deal to do with the storyline that season. Going in B. And her skin was honestly pretty cool. Up next, we got Lieutenant John Llama from the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. He's going in D. Up next is Harlow, and she's going in S. There were so many cool styles that you could customize her with. Gumbo. I think Gumbo is like one of the worst, if not the worst, Battle Pass skins going in F. Shanta. I think Shanta was a cool skin. She's going in A. Up next is Haven, and she is going in B. She had a couple cool styles, but overall was pretty middle of the road. Ronin. Ronin is definitely going to S. Ronin is a sick skin. And then the GOAT, the greatest superhero of all time, in my opinion, my favorite superhero of all time, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, going in S+. And pretty cool, we finally got the foundation in a battle pass, definitely going in A. Up next is the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass, also was the first season for zero build. And then we have Gunner. Gunner is going in D. Probably the worst skin from that battle pass. Up next is Ariza, and I think she is probably one of the coolest anime skins that we've had in battle pass, and I think overall one of the coolest anime skins. She's going in A. Suki 2.0 is going in B. I honestly still prefer the first Suki version. 
and designer suki kiara ko is going in c the origin is going in a another member from the seven and honestly he was sick the imagined she's going in b i really liked her purple version but other than that she was an all right skin dr strange is for sure going in s the comic accuracy is just beautiful the prowler same thing going in s incredible collab skin and I love the accuracy. Up next is the chapter three, season three battle pass. And this is where it could get really controversial because I actually like a lot of these battle pass skins. Eevee is going in A. I thought she was a really good skin with some really great styles. And I really liked her back bling. Snap. Snap is for sure going in F. There are some highs and there are some lows when it comes to this chapter three, season three battle pass. Adira. Adira is another one. She's going in A. I really liked her mask version. But then we have Stormfarer and Stormfarer is also joining Snap in f malik i thought malik was really cool he's going in b up next we got sabina and i think she is a really sick skin she is going in s and i love that she had a katana and then next is darth vader darth vader of course one of the greatest villains of all time going in s plus and then rounding it out was indiana jones and they actually did a really great job with him he's going in a now we're moving on to chapter three season four and we have grizz here grizz will be going in c bites I didn't know he was one of the most like hated skins, but I actually really like him. I like his outfits. He's going in B. Twin, I think Twin is going in C. Cool concept, but just wasn't for me. Meow Skulls, she is also going in C. Just not really a skin for me, but hey, if you love her, good for you. Up next, we have Paradigm, and I think she is my favorite out of all the seven skins. And she had some really cool styles to her. So she's going in S. Lennox Rose. Lennox Rose is going in D. And then Spider Gwen. Of course, she is going to be going in S+. Up next, we have the Herald. And she was actually the villain from that season. She's going in C as well. Chapter 4, Season 1. Celine. I really like Celine. I like the normal version of her with all the tattoos. And then I also like the moon suit version of her. She's going in S. Up next, we have Masai. Masai is going in C. Then we got Doomslayer, who is going in B. They did a really great job with that collab skin. Up next is Dusty, and she's going in B as well. And then next, we have Nizumi, another anime skin. It feels like there was, a, at this point, it felt like there was an anime skin in every battle pass. But this one, they did a really good job with going in B. Helsey. Helsey is going in A. And then the Ageless one of the best tier 100 skins for sure going in s and joining them is gerald also known as the witcher going in s up next is the chapter 4 season 2 battle pass and i feel like they cooked with this battle pass i felt like it was an incredible battle pass so let's go ahead and rank these skins and renzo the destroyer is for sure going in a amani is going in c i felt like she had a better glider than she did a skin thunder thunder is going in d mystica mystica is going in s stray Stray is also going in S. I feel like they cooked with those two skins. Highwire going S+. Plus. I think she was the best skin in that battle pass. And I absolutely love her. And joining her in S+, plus is Mizuki. I think Mizuki was such a sick skin. Such a good tier 100 skin. And then joining them in S+, plus is going to be Eren from my favorite anime, Attack on Titan. Up next, we have Chapter 4, Season 3. One of the most disappointing seasons, but there were some good skins in the Battle Pass. I'm putting Optimus in C, and really the only reason I'm putting him in C is because it's Optimus Prime. I just really don't like the skin. Trace. Trace is pretty cool. Trace is going in B. Relic. Relic is for sure going in S. He is a sick skin. They cooked with that skin. Lorenzo. Lorenzo is a good looking dude. I'm not going to lie. He's going in A. He was clean. Ryan. Ryan is going in C. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking on this Meow Souls version, but like the beach looking version going in D. Mariposa. Mariposa is going in B. She was a pretty cool skin. Era. I think Era was one of the best skins in that battle pass. She is going A. Next, we're moving on to Chapter 4, Season 4. And I really like this battle pass. And this was the season my girl started playing Fortnite, which I absolutely love. So, you know, there's a little bit of sentimental value when it comes to this battle pass. Nolan Chance. Nolan is going in B. He had a really cool version. So, I'm not going to ignore that. Piper. Piper, in my opinion, she's going in A. I thought she was a really cool skin. Fish. Thick. Uh, part of me wants to put him in D. But because he's so buff he's going in c my my is going in b antonia for me is going in s plus i i think she was a really sick skin in the battle pass i really liked her i liked her mask i liked her suit i liked her different variations overall a really cool skin Kobe lame Kobe's going f i don't know why they do that let's not have tiktokers in the battle pass please no offense to him i'm sure he's a great guy kato thorn kato thorn is going in s one of the coolest villains that I think we have had in Fortnite. And Ahsoka, she can't go anywhere but S+. She has to go S+. She is one of the goats. 
and in my opinion she's on the mount rushmore of greatest star wars characters up next we got the chapter 4 og season and they absolutely killed it with this battle pass i love this battle pass starting with little split and little split is for sure going in s renegade links oh uh, you, you already know she's going in s plus they they killed it with this i love this version so much two iconic skins links and renegade raider combined killed it omega rock also two iconic tier 100 skins collabed killed it s plus then spectra knight one of the best knight skins so much customization to her she is going in s this leads us to the chapter 5 season 1 battle pass skins and i honestly really like this battle pass a lot the, these skins are very bougie too they, they look rich they look very rich starting with hope i think hope is a great skin she's going in s plus in my opinion i think they absolutely killed it with her look up next is underground jonesy and honestly this is my favorite version of him going in a uh, he just, he looks good with a beard he's for sure a beard guy you know what i mean oscar tony the tiger going b i would not want to come across paths with him he looked like he would rip me apart nisha my favorite skin in this battle pass s plus she is so simple but so clean and just looks so good in game up next is montague and montague just smells rich i know he's the thief but you can tell he is loaded with money he's going a and he has some sick outfits peter griffin the goat going s plus for sure you can't put peter anywhere but s plus valeria valeria i think is an incredible skin she's going in s and our final skin in this battle pass tier list i hope you have really enjoyed this video i've had a lot of fun making this solid snake going in s plus let's get him up there something's wrong with my mouse i'm gonna need a new mouse there we go and there you have it here is my battle pass skin tier list from chapter one season one to chapter five season one i hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe use code toon spider in the fortnite item shop and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace